Good morning. Promised you guys to take a look and take a. We will take a video on the new syllabus with our new book. So uh, today is to demonstrate how to use the GDC to find to tackle some functions about the regression line of y against x and x against y all together in one example. That's why I will select this uh, for. AAHL chapter 26, AAHL book 2, and uh, 26E question 3. So we will first finish part A. And for SL2, it would be chapter 19E. Three. Okay, so now let's start. To uh, first, we would enter data for the from the table to our GDC. So uh, I am to uh, simulating you using looking at your book while I do also uh, entering data to your GDC at the same time. So let's start. So uh, we should open a new document using the list and spreadsheet function to type in length uh, because it is related to the length of arm of this swimming player and um, so we should try our best to enter the most accurate data as we can as the shortest amount of time we need so you should practice this from time to time I'm not guarantee my speed is the fastest but uh, I don't think I am the slowest so please uh, try your best to practice from time to time and after that we assign this uh, Time. And we are with part A, we need to sketch the scatter diagram. So we should use the manual function data to do a quick graph uh, from the table length assigned to the x and the time is assigned to y. That's why I will use this for the horizontal and vertical axis configuration. But don't forget, you should go to page layout and to ungroup it so that your scatter diagram would using the map will be maximized and the most easily for you to graph. And let's go back to the book. So uh, length assigned to x and brief stroke assigned to y and we finished the part a. And for part b, we are asked to find the equation of the regression line of first y against x and secondly x against y. I would like to give you a short lecture first. Um, regression line of y on x, we will use the GDC function. However, for we to graph the regression of X on one, we should swap data. Swap data. Later on, I will talk clearly about that. So, in we will finish part B1 first. So, let's go back to the GDC, go back to the uh, spreadsheet using your touchpad, and go to the menu statistics, statistic calculation for linear regression. Uh, so X list would be column A, A open bracket and close bracket square, okay? Or you may assign X as length and Y as time. Um, you should screw to the screw down or screw only scroll down and please be reminded to change the first result column from B to D otherwise your data would be 
overwrite it, and everything would be incorrect. Um, because of our handwriting, we should show the equation. So this column, uh, there are some space here. That's why I assigned the data. Uh, first data would be column dn. Uh, and we should wind up the constant to VSF. So uh, constant a should be 2, 1 line. And constant b should be negative 1.28. In our graph, it should be y equals to a plus bx, and that's why a should be 1, 2, 1, 9, and b should be negative 1.28. And later on, we are going to sketch it, but we should find or maybe you, we can sketch it first. Uh, so we go go to the sketch and press the analyze menu and analyze, jump to regression and show linear a plus bx. And this is the label for the regression nine of y against x or y on x. We call it shortly and. Now we go to the data and go back to the data and do part B2. So we will use the statistic calculations again. But this time X would be assigned to time and Y would be assigned to length. And we will jump to the bottom column and a b c d e f g so i will use the g column and after that do not forget to round up the constant from given to vsf so 160 and negative 0 0.693 for B and so our equation in our written style should be x equals to 160 and minus 0 0.6 9, 3, y. Later on, I will tell you why we should change y to the subject because this is for the GDC graphing. And now we are going to copy the constant b, uh, have some memory about the constant a, and we we copy the data by pressing Ctrl C, and the highlighted entry would be copied. And we go to the graph menu, analyze, and to pop function. Uh, the given text is the subject, so we just type in open bracket x minus a, which is one five nine. 0.724 if my memory is still okay and then divided by control V for the previous data B and this new plotted line is what the X against Y so we may take time to arrange the label and we may swap the equation and we may also adjust the color maybe we can use uh, blue for the y against x9 regression 9 and using black for x against y regression 9 and for the equations in your answer, you should mention the highlighted equation. 
for this is for our GDC use only. And after that, take a look at the Pass C. Port both regressionized on your static diagram. So uh, your port should show in this. And what do you notice? We notice that the black line, which is regression line of y against x is more tilt or steeper than the regression line of x against y. Uh, sorry, so uh, x against y is steeper than y against x. And uh, what we also notice is the interpolation is will be accurate within the data range but may be not quite accurate outside the data range. Let's say um, there is no human being exists such that uh, using zero seconds to finish the 200 meter brief stroke and there does not exist human being even if the length of arm is zero but cannot reach cannot finish this 200 meter brief stroke because people will still use the leg to swim even without arm and okay so uh thanks for spending your precious time to looking at it so please spend time to practice 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 make sure you are familiar to this uh Paper 2 topic. Friends.